let's now look at the actual process of moving from confrontation to collaboration. We have a model that when applied, when used, and when embraced, really help us to move from those situations where we are either afraid of confronting someone or afraid of having a dialogue with someone, afraid of actually solving a situation, changing a behavior, or asking someone to change a behavior because we don't know how to do it. Well, this little this little step model, I am sure you that can bring you a lot of confidence when you have a situation where something needs to be resolved. And let's look at it. Let's start with number one, being specific. Being specific when we talk to someone about a situation that we need to change is important because when we talk about generalities, it is very difficult for someone to make a change. Where do I change? If you tell me that I'm always late, where do I change? Or if you tell me that I am irresponsible, where do I change? But being specific, and particularly with one example, that tells me what I need to do differently. So let's talk about this example. Peter, let's talk about the effect that coming late is having in our team. Uh, for example, last Friday you came at 9 instead of 8 as it was programmed. And here we talk about our feelings. I was frustrated. And you know why? I tell you why. Because I need this team, this workshop, to be very punctual. As you know, there are people that come from different countries sometimes. And punctuality, punctuality is very important to the flow of the training. Then number five. Here is one that I will recommend everyone to use it all the time. This is the step where I say to the person I'm talking with, listen, I am here for both of us to solve the situation. I am your support. I can help you. Let's do it together. I am part of the problem. And in my case, for instance, could be something like, Peter, I know that I didn't let you know that it was inappropriate to come late the first time you did it. So I take part of the problem. That's my contribution. And I, I recognize that I am also responsible. And that's why I invite the person to solve this together. So let's work this out. Let's find out how we can solve this situation so that it doesn't happen again. I appreciate you and I like to see this problem solved, the situation, this behavior change. Then I invite the person to talk. And I said, I'd like to hear your perspective. I'd like to hear your point of view. At this point, when I invite the other person to respond, I need to have a mindset of, I am going to suspend my position. All I like to do is to listen to the perspective of the other person and to understand where that person is coming from. And of course, this is leading to dialogue, which is the tool that we use to move from confrontation to collaboration. Hi, Peter. Thanks for coming. I appreciate you taking the time to, um, to talk about this, this uh, issue. And what is um, important for us to talk is the effect that you coming late to our meetings on Friday is having on our team. And uh, what happens is last Friday when you came at 9 instead of 8.30, I was a little frustrated because, as you know, we need, I need for this training to start on time because there are people that are coming from different cities and different places and uh, punctuality is one of the requirements for this training to run smoothly. I also know that I have part of the problem because I failed to let you know the first time that you came late. I failed to let you know that it was very important to be right on schedule. So I take part of the uh, uh, my contribution. I have part of this contribution. And so that's why I would like to sit down with you and see how we can solve this problem so that it doesn't happen again. And now I invite you to let me know your perspective. Tell me uh, why is this happening? What is your point of view?